Hey everyone, happy Monday, happy start to your week. I wanted to jump in here because I was thinking today back to when I first started doing videos and uh, posting, posting things online. And it was over 12 years ago now and uh, that I first started first started like the, the very first articles that I uh, created my own website and started posting those and I was thinking about the inspiration for what I wanted to share and how that really is the same thing that is important to me today and why I believe that it can matter for you and the question that that I put at the title of this video is what is a balanced rider what does balance really mean and when I think of balance in terms of our riding, it's not just about how we're sitting in the saddle. It's not just about the ability of moving with the horse, but it's the bigger picture of everything that we bring to our horsemanship, to the way that we are with our horses. And this is such a greater reflection too of the skills that we can bring to all of the other places in our lives. So it brings me back to when I first started doing videos, um, actually started with writing the articles and then I was doing the videos. It was because I was working with riders in person. I was teaching riding lessons and I was finding that I was a bit frustrated because the riders would come, we would go out, we would find their horse, we would tack up and we would ride, but I always felt like there was more parts of the experience that were missing because to me, riding isn't just about hopping on the back of a horse and learning how to, you know, give them commands or guide them and stay on, but that it's really about the relationship with the horse and the greater relationship with all of the skills of learning to care for them, learning how to handle horses, all of the things that we can learn about when we learn about how another being thinks and feels, we can discover so much more about ourselves as well. So this was my inspiration for, okay, I'm going to start writing about these ideas. I'm going to start creating videos. I'm going to make these extra resources for my students to be able to take home to practice riding exercises. Absolutely. But also to fill out and help them understand the pieces that I felt were so special about the riding experience. And that has continued to grow. It's continued to grow for myself in the way that I have so much gratitude to horses and to the whole path that um, that working with horses has guided my life on and the different things that I've learned that I can now bring into the way that I work with each horse and to each ride that I go on but also what I can bring to you and what I share in in um in all of the programs here, in all of the courses, but especially the balance riding course, because the balance riding course was the very first one that I ever did. Um, it was those early videos that I then started putting together into more of a logical progression and you know, started giving to my in-person students that grew and grew and I kept adding to it and kept rethinking the way that I structured the curriculum, um, the way that I learned also about education and how technology opened up, you know, more possibilities for how to um, really help people understand what I was feeling and what I wanted to, what I wanted to share. And this is one of the things that I do believe I can really bring as a teacher is that I don't just love the horses and the riding and the training, but I really love the experience of learning. And because of this, I've studied learning and I really put effort into every um, piece of information. How am I conveying it in a way? And sometimes that means how am I speaking about it or how am I showing it? What are the ways that we're showing it on video? What are the exercises to help students really understand it and be able to use it so that it's not just a mental concept, but it's really a feeling and something that you can walk away with. 
And this is something that is different than there's a lot of amazing riding instructors that are very talented riders, but they don't necessarily have the teaching um, skills. And that can sometimes be frustrating then for students that that want to learn more, but feel they're a bit held back because it's not being presented in a way that they can really understand and take in. And if anyone has watching has felt that, um, you could just give a little thumbs up or a little wave in the comments because I know that it's something that many here in the community have felt and can sometimes kind of feel a frustrating place, like there's something wrong with you as the student. But I always believe as a teacher that responsibility lies with both. Yes, we need to be in touch with how do we learn best and how can we um, ask sometimes for information to be presented in a way we can understand. But it's also the teacher's responsibility if the student's not understanding something, present it in a different way. Or in my case, also present it in multiple ways throughout the course, which is why we have the textbook the videos, the um, personal feedback through the video coaching to really help you understand in different ways. So a balanced rider to me is someone that practices the skills of good riding in all things. The way that we lead our horse, anytime that we pick up the lead rope, the way that we do skills like lunging, even the way that we bring them, say, in and out of a gate, all of these things can transfer directly into our riding. Sometimes it's the actual physical skills. How are we using our body? How are we moving? Building awareness around that. Sometimes it is how are we using pressures and how are we helping, how are we able to communicate well with the horse for them to understand what we want. But each piece of this is so, is so important for, um, for being a balanced rider. Because if we just think about riding as what we're doing in the saddle, then we're missing such a huge piece of it. And I've always loved thinking of training as just being good communication. Because when I can understand the horse, when I can understand their senses, we worked with that through the workshop, then I can um, communicate with them better. And that ends up being training when the horse understands the cues, understands what is expected. So I am really excited for opening the balanced riding course tomorrow. We're going to be opening tomorrow morning, Eastern time. We're getting everything the team's finishing up on getting everything ready now. I'm really, really excited to have um, new students join in, having the alumni students that are coming back and have really loved all of the questions through the workshop that have been coming in. You can continue to um, put in the questions. Those, are you, those of you that are active in the Facebook group, you can post there, we're, we're checking there and I'm answering as many there as possible as well, and we'll continue to do so. The workshop is only open for one more week, as will be enrollment for the course. So we have spring enrollment that's just open for one week, and then we'll be um, closing enrollment so that new students can all get started. So I'll be on tomorrow as well to announce when we have opened and to answer every, any of your questions. Thank you for joining me here today. Um, hearing a little bit more about the history of the, the course and uh, kind of pondering this idea of what is balance and what does it mean to us as riders and as um, people that work with horses. So I would love to hear what you think, what balance means to you. Put it in the comments and thank you for everyone that joined here. Have a great day.